But anyway, yeah, there you have it. And people like will throw the other onions in with the Vidalia onions, and you don't you don't discover it until you go to peel. Do a simple push up with feet together, feet apart. The ketchup, squeeze it out, squeeze it out. So look, today we're talking about the most important topic of all time in the world just joking around we're talking about cooking today okay you know food's important right unless you live in a fourth world country today we're checking out iron wrath productions iron wraith uh, i'm not sure which one but i took a look at this guy two years ago and i'm really hungry and i want to cook some food right now while i make the video so that's why i decided to check out this because i'm hungry i also weigh 375 pounds so first of all i wanted to check out his onion garlic pasta salad broccoli battered cake in your butthole i never finished this video when i first took a look at it two years ago so i thought i would watch another two minutes of it it's 20 minutes long by the way it's actually so sickening i couldn't finish it last year two years ago be sure to leave a like if you guys enjoy and subscribe if you're new and people like will throw the other onions in with the Vidalia onions and you don't you don't discover it until you go to peel the damn thing i don't know about you guys but i do not trust this creature with a cooking knife also for some reason the low quality of the video makes me feel like he's going to do something very very sinister with that object something along the lines of slicing and dicing his subscribers into bite-sized pieces and then your eyes start burning. Well, that's not happening today, but I have had it happen. You get... You know what, man? I think my eyes are starting to burn because you look like a jackal from Halo 2. Look at this guy, man. Genuinely terrifying. What is he even cooking? Stewed garlic onions and taters. Yummy. If you get maybe one of those other pretty potent onions in here, and you mean to buy the daily onions. But... Chop, 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 chop. Some people like would chop it a little finer, but... I think that this guy's cooking belongs on the big screen, IMAX, 4K. And then everyone in the theater gets fed his uh, stewed garlic and onions. I mean, it'd be a great experience. I don't know about you guys, but I would allow my balls to sit in the stewed onion broth and marinate and become a greater entity. Alright. Take that. I'm gonna take our tators. Ah. You know, just from this one image of this guy's channel where you can see the thumbnails of the things he cooks, I feel like Mr. Iron Wrath isn't even actually cooking anything. He's just pretending to cook, but in reality, he's practicing with his weapons. This dude is waiting for the government to announce the purge being real. Okay, watch out. Stay out of, uh, Montana. By the way, what is up with this live leak level footage? Pieces like that. Oh god, he's making the tater tots himself or the the taters or whatever. What is just a single tater? What is that? What's a tater? It's a potato, you f retard. For sure you can actually see that and then I'm just going to Did I lose one? I pray to God he throws that shit away. Because if he eats that potato slice, he is going to pass away. His kitchen floor is laced with meth. Alright then, um... Look at that, ha 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 ha. Alright guys, dinner is served. Who wants a bowl? Who wants a bowl? You? Watching the video? You want a bowl? Take a bite, try it out. What do you think? Also, I figured I'd mention, I think I just came across Iron Raft's secret channel. And, uh, of course, he had to throw in some excellent cooking. I mean, who wouldn't want to try out salmon and eggs? But look, guys, okay, I don't want the salmon and eggs, right? I don't want the garlic onion powder mixture soup thing. I don't want that. I want some pizza, all right? Some authentic Italian pizza. And look no further, because our boy... Has got us covered. Let's go. All right, yins guys, it's the show. It's the show. It's the show. It's the show. It's the asshole cooking show. Welcome to the show. He calls his show the asshole cooking show because the secret ingredient are his asshole hairs. And today's show, just like I promised the last time that I mentioned in another pizza episode, I did this other pizza episode and I wanted to get boboli bread shell. 
So Wait a minute, is this a brand of pizza crust that actually gets you high? So I finally did it. And I got this pizza sauce. This comes in two kinds, this brand. New York style and uh, pepperoni flavor. We're going to use the pepperoni flavored. I got my pepperoni out here. Got the bread shell. And I got this huge ass... Um, <laughs> Dude, this guy might actually be the funniest chef alive, bro. He just doesn't even give a fuck. He's like, I got the huge ass motherfucker. I mean, uh, mozzarella. We're gonna make the pizza. I mean, as long as he enjoys the food he's making, I guess there really is no issue. But why does he have to broadcast it on YouTube so I have to come across it? Like, I feel like I'm inclined to make a video on this shit. If I never saw this, I could have just gone through my life peacefully. But now, every single night, I'm gonna think to myself, how did he cook something so wretched? And why would he eat it? Thing of mozzarella, and the reason why I do this because I'm planning to make lasagna again. And, and we'll talk about lasagna for a brief second. Even though I'm making pizza, I got this since I got this big old. I'm gonna use some of the cheese for this pizza. Did he just forget what he was looking at? I mean, I guess he did say cheese towards the end, but he just totally spaced out. I got this big old. Uh, uh, he's been eating too much of the pizza crust. Put it that way, but. I'll take a moment to talk about lasagna for a quick second. Check out my episodes about lasagna, the one with the San Giorgio. Uh, yeah, sorry, man. I don't want to check out your episodes of the lasagna with the hand. Like, I, what the fuck? I, I'm good, dude. I'm halfway joking and halfway not joking about Iron Wrath having hostages in his house. I feel like it's a very plausible thing. That could be real. I think a big reason for this opinion I have is the quality of his content. It's recorded on a VHS. I feel like we're watching this guy's autobiography documentary days before he commits a massive act of terror. Lasagna is the best. My very first episode is the one... I made three lasagna episodes. The very f the first lasagna episode I got it. Is this guy okay? Is he on drugs? He can't even make a coherent sentence, bro. It sounds like a dumpy video. So I got the lasagna and I made the lasagna. It's like, who is following this, bro? I'm really trying hard to follow it. I'm just staring at this Walmart great value brand mozzarella cheese thinking to myself, is he going to eat me? All right. Okay. Well, anyway, let's get started with the pizza. So we got the pizza crust open. See, it's like this on one side. And like this on the other, so... Is that pink? Is it pink on the pizza crust? Is it raw? I feel like I'm somehow gonna get AIDS by watching this guy's video. I'm gonna have this side showing. So, I got my uh, bag of mozzarella cheese open, I got my pepperoni open, and I got my sauce open. So I'm gonna be a little more careful with the sauce like the last time, just cause it's... This jar is supposed to be the right portion, but sometimes, uh, you can overshoot it. I don't know, this works. This seems to be doing pretty good so far, but... Yeah, man. Looks really yummy. Really, really yummy. Uh, can I please perhaps maybe get a slice? I could, uh, get it out of your tissues that have poop on them from when you shit out the pizza eight months ago when this video was made. But I don't dislike Iron Wrath. I think he's just a funny, interesting guy. He gives back some old school nostalgia vibes and you know, maybe one day he'll become the best chef of all the Gordon Ramsay Cyclopses on the internet. Spread it around. Gotta get a, uh, something to spread it around with, hold on. All right. Use this instead of a spoon. Be real careful here. Oh yeah, I really love that, man. I love that little motion he's doing. He's caressing the sauce across the pan pizza with the pizza sauce spatula. I'm gonna bash my head into a rock. But yeah, man, I think in conclusion today, dude, I just learned that to be the best cooking god machine, you have to be able to be clean when you cook. This guy's a madman. Go check out this video on screen. This guy has the most disgusting room in the online streaming realm. Like, he literally has not cleaned this room in years. It's disgusting. Watch the video. Bye.